Hey everyone, I'm going to go ahead and work on this splice plate right here that goes to this uh, turtle deck skin. Here's the other skin over there that I have all uh, drilled and dipple dyed like this one. And so what I'm going to do is first attach the little clips on either side here all the way through. And then I'll go ahead and then rivet the entire thing together. Okay, I hope you can hear me over the air conditioner. I went ahead and put these little clips in that I have to rivet in before I put the skin on. And I was looking for Clico pliers and I got really mad at myself because I have this wonderful, beautiful shop, but I keep letting it get dirty. So I went ahead and I went back to my table here and I reorganized the entire thing. My dad sent me a beautiful, uh, or sorry, a really big um, a bag full of incredible uh, number 30 and number 40 drill bits. So I went ahead and took my calipers here and I made sure to have them in the proper piles which size they are. I have all my rivets over here, Clico's up there, measuring utensils, um, files, tape measures, pneumatic air gun, pneum or is not pneumatic air gun, my pneumatic uh, riveter, uh, pneumatic drill, 90 degree drill, and I have all my different bits here, my other ones that I use a lot, but not necessarily all the time. And so I want to have this table be just the things that I go to primarily. So now that that's done, I can go ahead back over to here and drill these up to the proper size and then go ahead and uh, attach them and keep going. Thank you. Okay, so I put the self etching primer on both sides and I put the clips on and went ahead and riveted them. My pneumatic air compressor right here. So now I'm going to go ahead and clico this all together to the two pieces and then rivet that together as well too. Okay, so I have it, um, I washed it with uh, the lacquer thinner and I went ahead and sprayed it with the self etching primer on all three surfaces and now I have it lightly go to the place and start from the rear and then slowly move forward with uh, riveting it. I'm using my flush rivets for this one. The rivets I did inside and the little side bits, uh, those are all um, just normal rivets, but this is external skin, so I'm going to be doing that. Uh, but yeah, so I'll go ahead and get the compressor going and then start riveting it together. All right, I have it all riveted in. The left side goes on top of the right side, so that's why it's this way. Here is the front channel, which will attach to other bits in the future. And here is the line. It's only lightly wavy in a couple of small spots. It's actually pretty um, pretty even across, so um, it'll come out with a very nice smooth finish when I finish building the airplane. Uh, if you're new to the channel, I've told a lot of other people, but I'll tell you now, I plan on painting this a very bright kind of a Ferrari red, so it's really easy to see um, from other aircraft. And also I really like the color as well too. Um, and so it should be a, a nice white, or excuse me, nice um, red with a couple white stripes down the side and a white propeller and um, I think it'll look very nice. So uh, that's about it for today. Thanks for watching. And I'll show you when I try and fit this guy on top of the, uh, the, the back half there. So this is a turtle deck, by the way. And this is going on top of this back aft piece from here up and over and around. And that will give it rigidity on the top. And also I have formers that will go into the sides here, which will give that part strength as well too. I still have a few pieces I need to finish in the tub first, but I just wanted to build this because it was so much fun. Um, but yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching.